In this video, I'm going to be talking about the market and letting you guys know if there's a market crash happening right now or a market rise and just going over the market, looking at different cards prices and just telling you guys when I think you guys should be buying and when you guys should be selling your cards slash teams. So look, uh, well, let's go to the pack market and let's see what came out yesterday. So as you guys know, the new silencer cards came out and we got pink diamond Michael Jordan, insanely good card. One of the biggest names in the game. Obviously we got pink diamond Jason Tatum, another one of the biggest names in the game and a very, very good card. We also got a diamond paul pierce diamond baron davis diamond michael jordan this amazing budget card amethyst robert horry we got amethyst jerry west and then we obviously got the amethyst michael jordan so overall i think a very good friday drop some very good cards and some very hype names so you guys would think the market would be crashing but i think kind of the opposite is happening right now so i'm not exactly sure what's going on with the market it's kind of all over the place so right now like we look at zion's price he's been ending for around like 175 200k so he has dropped a little bit the reason why like i can't tell you guys if it's like a certain market crash or a market rise because some cards like vince carter he goes down to like 225 250 but now he's back up to 350k so the market is literally all over the place right now but vince carter on average has dropped in price because of michael jordan coming out if we look at the blake griffin he's gone back up in price like crazy up to 250k so i think there might actually be a bit of a market rise happening right now if we look at john morant that price isn't true he's more like 300 to 350k so yeah guys it's kind of crazy like the market is starting to rise back up which is kind of nuts just after we just got one of the best content drops of the year so it looks like the market isn't going to crash for a while and it looks like the market is just going to continue to rise or at least stay at its exact value so now talking about when you guys should be buying and when you guys should be selling your squad so what I'd recommend doing is right now, if you guys are like grinding the game, right, you're playing all these different game modes, unlimited, clutch time. If you're playing clutch time, for example, and that's like the main game mode you're focusing on, then I wouldn't really recommend having a bench. So for example, if you look at my bench, it's mainly just free or budget cards. And then my starting lineup is more like expensive and very good cards. What I'd recommend doing is if you guys are mainly just focusing on like three player modes or five player modes, not like a 10 man, like unlimited. Basically, if you guys aren't playing unlimited or not grinding unlimited like crazy, then I might recommend selling your bench or just making your team a little bit worse and selling some of these expensive cards because like for example if you have vince carter that's that's going for like 350k like you might want to sell them i think right now if you have some of these more expensive cards like even a blake griffin if you can get 250k for him i know he's really good i recommend picking up blake but not for that much like 250k yes he's definitely good i got mine for 145 if you could get him for something like that like 150 175 then i'd recommend doing so but 250k like there's just no way he's worth that price i know he's really good for example if you have a guy like john morant i'd probably recommend selling him as well what i'm basically saying is i would probably recommend selling some of your more expensive cards for example if you still have this pink diamond curry he's still 350k is he worth 350k i don't think so and the main reason is because there's so many other good and probably better point guards like pink diamond derrick rose like donovan mitchell like john morant and even some other options that could be better than pink diamond curry so i'd recommend selling him if you do have him but if you have guys like zach levine or you have guys like victor oladipo you can maybe keep them or some cards that you're running like for example if you want to pick up a guy like uh if you want to pick up a guy like you know pink diamond vince and you get him for cheap i mean you can definitely keep him i would just recommend probably selling him if you guys aren't like too you know wanting to use him that much because 350k for pink diamond vince i just don't think is worth it same thing if you guys have the mjs and the tatum like mj is 550k almost 600,000 mt and so is jason tatum he's around 500 to 550k so i think we've actually seen a bit of a market rise happening which i did not expect i thought for example like once we got these like insanely good cards we got the jordans we got the tatums like you would think the market would start to you know go down a little bit especially for the shooting guard position but the shooting guards, surprisingly enough, have actually gone up in price, which makes no sense. Like, how much is Victor Oladipo? Like, I think he's back to being a bid. So right now, there's actually a bit of a market crash. I thought there was going to be a bit of a market... Oh, sorry, there's a bit of a market rise happening right now, but I thought there was actually going to be a bit of a market crash, right? Because if you guys saw my video, I predicted a market crash, and I've been wrong every single time, which I'm very confused about. So I think I'm kind of learning to understand the market, and that's something about the new game that we all have to understand, is how the new market works at the start of the year. And right now, 
the market doesn't seem to be crashing at all. What I've noticed and what I'd recommend doing is the best time to buy cards is going to be Thursday night when we do get those leaks. So if you guys don't know, they leak new cards on Thursday around like 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. The market does start to drop a little bit that night. And then in the Friday morning when the new cards come out, that is probably the best time to buy cards. So if you guys are ever looking to buy cards, you want to pick up your favorite players, you want to pick up some really good cards, I would recommend doing so on either Thursday night or Friday morning when the cards do actually come out especially when people are like trying to bid on the Tatums like yesterday I almost got a Zion for 130k I just wasn't paying attention right but now Zion's back up to like 225 250k but I could have got one for like 135 150k because that's when Tatum and the Jordans were selling so everybody was trying to go bid on Jordans go bid on Tatums so that is probably my best piece of advice is when new cards come out on a Friday when they start selling around like 3 p.m. after the four hours do end that's what I'd recommend trying to pick up your Vince Carter trying to pick up your Zion Williamson your Blake Griffins in my opinion that's probably gonna be the best time to do so and then selling your cards I think right now if you guys don't want to use the cards or maybe you want to get some MT back, I think the market has risen up a decent amount. So I'd recommend selling if you guys want to. But you definitely don't have to sell your cards or your team because I know everyone's still grinding the game. Just letting you guys know there is a decent market rise happening right now. And then, yeah, like I said, buy cards on, on Thursday night or Friday day slash morning when the new cards do come up. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know in the comment section down below. What are you guys going to do? You guys selling your cards, buying cards, and let me know what you guys think about the market as well. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.